Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, back with another episode of One Take Testing, the show in which I aim to show off a deck, give you a sense of how it plays, and let you know my thoughts all in one singular take. Today we're looking at a deck that I can take quite literally zero credit for. It is Joshua Smith's Heat Soul Control deck? So for those of you who aren't aware, Decode Talker Heat Soul is the evolved form of Decode Talker, released especially by Konami for Pride Month. That's a joke, please do not sue me. Anyway, uh, this flaming individual draws you a card on every single turn, and it turns out drawing two cards a turn is very strong. Some had expected it would be strong enough to facilitate its own deck, and Heat Soul control decks started cropping up almost immediately, trying to use Deco Talker Heat Soul and its one card enablers, like all of the really cool Cyber Skies, in order to go into really, really strong theoretical end boards. <laughs> in practice, it turns out that putting all of your material into a singular monster that does not even win you the game is not particularly good, and playing a significant amount of monsters in the deck designed to facilitate that monster means that the draws off the monster might just be more of the cards that go into the monster instead of the hand traps and sweepers that you need to actually win the game. So as a result, the deck did not do anything. It did not go anywhere until Joshua Schmidt picked it up. Now, it turns out that good players playing good decks well is a recipe for success, and success is what this deck has put together. He has been playing it in a Salaman Great core, and Salaman Great is uh, really, really good at a lot of things, including removing monsters with Salaman Great Mirage Stalio, getting to their plays with Salaman Great Circle, newly unlimited, and even playing cards like Salaman Great Jack Jaguar in order to enable repeated Cybers monster summons to ladder into the Heat Soul in the first place. It's also playing Salaman Great All Star Mirror, a card that has been largely overlooked by the player base since its release because it sucks ass, but here it's pretty good. Uh, you can see we are playing Salaman Great Mainstays Flame Buffalo, one Foxy, one Gazelle, three Jack Jaguar, one Mirror, and two Spinny. We're also playing the Micro Coders in order to search Cynet Conflict. Notably, we are also including three. Three parallel exceed not to ladder to Heat Soul, but to end on a board of Heat Soul plus Baguska. It turns out Baguska just ends up being very good against the majority of the metagame right now. So this is what we're working with. I'm itching to play it. Let's jump into the games and see what happens. Now, important here is uh, uh, winning the die roll. So uh, we'll just do that real quick. Okay, let's uh, try it again. Um, yeah, let's go. Oh, wow, this is a really good one. Um, now, we don't have a Cybers monster, so I'm going to have to Desires here, unfortunately. Uh, thankfully, we did resolve that. Whoa! My god! You are just allowed to do anything here, aren't you? Uh, okay, well, I think I actually want to Flame Buffalo discarding Flame Buffalo here. Um, you know what? Actually, let's let's be good. We're going to go for Salaman Great Circle. We're going to grab Gazelle. Wow, it's like we're playing Salad. Uh, the trick to this deck is just to not banish what you want with uh, with your really powerful monsters. We're going to go Bay Lynx, uh, and I hate that you can do this. Flame Buffer low two, or one Bay Lynx two, uh, and then we'll go ahead and grab a Sanctuary. Uh, draw some cards off the Buffer low. Oh, that's pretty good. We'll go for Sanctuary here, and then we will link this Bay Lynx off for a Bay Lynx. And then you know where we go from here. It's gazelle time, folks. Uh, I hope we didn't banish Spinny. In fact, I know that we didn't. We're playing two copies pretty much exactly to prevent this from happening. Uh, we can spend a, send a Spinny to Graveyard here. Uh, let's think about what we want to do here. We can bring the Spinny back and go into Mirage Dalio. But the best thing Mirage Dalio does is tag back into Mirage Dalio, which is not ideal here. Um, I think that instead, we just want... Oh, we are playing Sunlight Wolf. So we could link the Bay Lynx and the Gazelle into a... No, we could go Spinny, Summon Mirage Dalio. Mirage Dalio for Jack Jaguar. Jack Jaguar and the Bay Lynx for uh, Sunlight Wolf. Summon the Jack Jaguar back to the link point. Oh yeah, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, Spinny back. Oh, man. You know, I have a bit of a problem with the fact that you can just still do Mirage Dalio. 
Now, the one thing we need to keep in mind for this is that we don't actually have a way to summon Splash Mage. So we are going to have to, like, be very careful and deliberate with the cards that we are rotating here. Uh, let's go Jack Jaguar. Uh, we're going to link off into a... Wait, why can we still link off into Splash Mage? Cannot activate monster effects. Okay, so we can still do everything but that. Uh, let's go Sunlight Wolf. And we should have an extra Bailinx in Grave here. So we'll return the Bailinx. Grab the Jaguar at the link point. Trigger Wolf. Let's go grab the Gazelle back to hand. Shit, the Gazelle's under that monster. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. We'll just grab back the Buffalo for next turn. See, it's all part of the plan, folks. It's all part of the plan. Uh, we can go... I think we're one material off of Transcode Talker, unfortunately. And there's no way we can get to it. So as is, I think we want to make Lingaribo. Like this. And then we'll make Decode Talker Heat Soul. Shit. Are you kidding me? You have to use Link Monsters for this. They have to be Cyberses. Okay, well, no big deal. Uh, let's draw another card. It's just too easy, baby. It's it's just too easy. <laughs> that was wrong. Uh, I don't think it even does anything here. Uh, we could, like, link off for something funny. Oh, wait. Can we summon Transcode Talker and link back the Heat Soul? Yo, are you fucking with me? All right, chat. Oh, no. Transcode Talker's in Earth. Thank God. All right. I was going to say that would be actually broken. Uh, I think we actually are stopping here, unfortunately. As funny as it is, um, we were probably not meant to summon the mirror. Alright. Uh, so we will pass back to our opponent. We've got Valor, Valor, Ash, Infip, uh, plus whatever we draw off the Heat Soul. Now, we were supposed to fire the Heat Soul in standby to play around like Triple Tack, but we didn't. Magician's Souls. That's fine with me. I'm going to respond with Heat Soul. Are we fire locked? We are locked into the effects of fire type monsters. This is the one frustration in this deck is if you draw a hand trap exactly named infinite impermanence, it's just PP bad. Oh no. Is this invoked? Oh wait! This is so much more than invoked. This is invoked before Alistair went sicko mode. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Um, so I actually do want to prevent that from happening. Uh, so we are going to infip here. We want to prevent this monster from equipping to the Crowley, because while it's equipped, the Majesty Maiden can search a uh, Magistus monster. Okay, damage jugs here. Um, I wonder if we stop this. Uh, I'm going to try it, and we're going to see what happens. It's possible they're just out of extenders. I imagine they're trying to go for Hat Tricker there. Let's see what the follow-up is. What is that? Magistus Invocation. Oh, God. This is Invocation before Invocation. All right, fine. That's okay. So that's got to be their entire board. Or I guess, theoretically, they could use stuff from the hand. Yeah. For what is this? Awas! Okay. So, Iwas is a big problem for us because we can't really uh, fire off the effect Valor on it. Uh, Aiden the Dragma Oracle. I've never seen this card. Can it be destroyed by battle with a monster special from the extra deck? If a monster special summoned through the extra deck is on the field, you can special summon this. If it's destroyed by battle card effect, special Dogmatica from your deck. That's fine. All right. There he is. So who does this guy turn into, or who is he originally? I know all the Dogmaticas have this, like, lore associated with them. Okay. Uh, you can detach a material from this card. Search a Magistus monster from your deck. Okay. This is uh, not going to resolve. Go ahead and fire the effect Veiler here. Target the wardrobe. 
The golden sword soul? Ugh. Now the sword souls are getting in lore? Ugh, I can't keep this straight anymore. Magistus Grimior Crowley here. Damn it. Oh, I tried so hard to keep these stupid monsters out of the back row, but it turns out that Artemis is going to be able to trigger here. Okay. Well, they've got one more activation. I've got one effect, Baylor. Seems pretty cut and dry to me. This card... They haven't normaled. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's really good. I will wait for them to trigger here. Targeting itself. We'll chain Valor. They can chain Iwas to equip to something. That's what they're waiting on. Okay, that's all of our interaction, folks. Let's just hope we're not dead here. And I'm hoping very hard. Okay, they're going to Iwas our Heat Soul. Which means they get it. Oh, boy. Okay. Battle phase, the walkover Mirage Stallio. That's annoying. Uh, I wonder if I protect that. I'm sure I do. Yeah, let's Bay Lynx to protect here. And those are, You can have Mir. You know, realistically, I should not have summoned the Mir. Okay, any quick effects here? The Heat Soul! Shit. Oh, it cannot activate its effects. Okay, I'm pretty sure that Feather Dustering wins us the game here. Let's try it out. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, let's fire it off. Draw another card. Draw another card. Draw another card. Oh, it's another Flame Buffalo. That's actually still pretty good. Uh, I'm shocked we still have targets in deck for Mirage Stallio, but uh, Foxy is it. Uh, okay, can we make a Fire Link Monster here? Um, do we have Salads left? We do. We have a Bay Lynx, oh, but that's not enough. Uh, if we make Bay Lynx and then we... Yeah, I have a play. It's very funny. Uh, we're going to make Bay Lynx with the Foxy. We're going to Jaguar and Grave returning the uh, Sunlight Wolf uh, to here. Then we're going to make Sunlight Wolf with Mirage, Dalio, and Jaguar. Which allows us to bounce the Wardrobe. Uh, and now we just win the game. We can just make access code talker and dome them. But uh, let's have a little bit more fun first, shall we? Uh, let's go Flame Bufferlow. Uh, we're going to link uh, the Flame Buffalo and the Bay Lynx off for Splash Mage. We're going to activate Buffalo 1 and Sunlight Wolf 2. Sunlight Wolf's going to add back the Gazelle. Buffalo is going to pitch the Buffalo. Draw a couple of cards. Uh, we're going to go for. Transcode Talker. Like this. We can't activate the effect of that monster, unfortunately, because we are Mirage Stallio locked. Uh, and then we are going to go... Spinny Effect. Foxy Effect. We're not going to pop our own monster. Or our own Spell Trap. And then we'll make... Oh, access code. Oh, access code's not a fire. No. <laughs> oh, wrong. my God. I, <laughs> I've i really been trying hard here to lose the game. But uh, thankfully, we are not going to. All right, let's just go to combat. All right, transcode talker in. <sighs> uh, no, I don't want to use the Salaman great effect. Uh, Sunlight Wolf in. Spinian. Are we a hundred off lethal? Are you kidding me? We're legitimately a hundred off. Are you fucking a hundred off lethal? Oh my gosh. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. What could our opponent reasonably do with a hundred life points? I can't think of a single thing. Okay, uh, we'll set one card um, and we'll pass turn. All right, what do we got? It is... Uh, there's a lot of bricks in this deck. Oh, we did it. Thank God.
So we're back with the deck. Uh, this is really cool. I do like it as the definitive way to play Decode Talker Heat Soul. I do think Decode Talker Heat Soul is an impressively powerful card. I think that this is probably the shell in which it is the most capable, and it has the most comeback potential, something the deck was sorely lacking before it was playing the Salaman great stuff. I played like absolute garbage and we still won the game. That's a testament to how forgiving the deck can be just because you have so many cards at your disposal between the Heat Souls and the Salaman Greats getting you natural advantage. Buffalo and Heat Soul are kind of made for each other. They draw a quadrillion cards over the course of one turn. And uh, I am really hoping that this becomes a tiered meta archetype. I would really like to see uh, people jamming this monstrosity. For what it's worth, uh, Joshua Schmidt, which is just Joshua Schmidt on uh, Twitch.tv, uh, has updated this deck since. Do go check out his channel if you want to see the most current build and also someone who actually knows what they're doing playing it. Uh, but I am excited about it and hope it cracks into tiered contention.